Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our celebration of the Eucharist. And welcome all those who you who have joined us for the Mass this morning. Uh, the, the presider will be Father Dom, and we remember in a special way at this Mass, Henry C. Lodi. Please stand. Within your will, O Lord, all things are established, and there is none that can resist your will. For you have made all things, the heaven and the earth, and all that is held within the circle of heaven. You are the Lord of all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to all those who are with us from home. Coming together as God's family, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for his will of gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to all sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose mercies are without number, and whose treasure of goodness is infinite, graciously increase the faith of the people consecrated to you that all may grasp and rightly understand by whose love they have been created, through whose blood they have been redeemed, and by whose spirit they have been reborn. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. O oh, stupid Galatians, who has bewitched you, before whose eyes Jesus Christ was publicly portrayed as crucified? I want to learn only this from you. Did you receive the Spirit from works of the law, or from faith in what you heard? Are you so stupid? After beginning with the Spirit, are you now ending with the flesh? Did you experience so many things in vain, if indeed it was in vain? Does thus then the one who supplies the Spirit to you and works mighty deeds among you do so from works of the law or from faith in what you heard? <coughs> the word of the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through, this, through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Open our hearts, O Lord, to listen to the words of your Son. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Suppose one of you has a friend to whom he goes at midnight and says, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread. For a friend of mine has arrived at my house from a journey, and I have nothing to offer him. And he says in reply from within, Do not bother me. The door has already been locked, and my children and I are already in bed. <clears throat> I cannot get up to give you anything. I tell you, if he does not get up to give him the loaves because of their friendship, he will get up to give him whatever he needs because of his persistence. <clears throat> and I tell you, ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and the one who knocks the door will be opened. What father among you would hand his son a snake when he asks for a fish, or hand him a scorpion when he asks for an egg? If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? <clears throat> the Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Jeez, Paul talking in Galatians sounds like a presidential debate. Oh, stupid Galatians. That's where we all start these days. So things haven't changed much through the years. <clears throat> Paul is attending to the Galatians uh, kind of fight it within them, within the community that extended to all of the, all of the Christian communities. Uh, that fight which uh, says, what, where did you get what you got? Did you get it because it was given by God? That spirit that you have? Or did you get it because you worked hard to get it? And Paul's starting to say to the Galatians, you know, it's, it's God's gifts. Um, it's not the works that you've done. Huh? It's not because you kept the law. It's because God, in seeing your faith, grants this goodness to you. And so it kind of takes on a, a great big uh, ongoing contention in the Christian community in that particular passage. And in the Gospel, um, it, it, it's a lovely Gospel. And, great images to help us remember how important prayer is and how effective it can be. I like at the end when he, when he mentions it, the fact that what father would, would give a son a snake when he asks for a fish or a scorpion when he asks for an egg. So often I find myself encountering parents who worry to death about their children and their lack of faith in their children. And what's God got to do to them? I think all you have to do is back off and say, well, what do I do with them? What do I do as a parent? who has a recalcitrant child, adult child, presume. I love men now. I keep loving them. I try my best through my love to, to transform and change them. I don't think it makes any sense for us to think that God will do anything less. You know, if we have that kind of open heart and mercifulness within us, how much more must God have uh, for us and for those that we love? the church. May God always increase in her the gifts of the Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. For leaders of nations, may God guide their hearts in making just and wise decisions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. Lord. For all those who feel alone or abandoned, may the Lord strengthen and comfort them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. For members of our community of faith, May the Holy Spirit enkindle in us a more pure love for our neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. For our beloved dead, 
May they experience the, the abundance of heavenly blessings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those persons whose names are written in our book of petitions, and for all the intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Most merciful and loving God, look kindly upon us through the prayers we offer. Help us to have confidence in your mercy and your love. We pray this in Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. My friends, pray that I'll sacrifice and be acceptable to God our Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice with your hands for the praise. Receive our oblations in your mercy, Lord, and transform them into the sacrament of redemption, the memorial of your son's death and resurrection, so that by the power of this sacrifice and with constant trust in Christ, we may come to eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up, Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just to give you thanks and raise to you a hymn of glory and praise, O Lord, Father of infinite goodness. <clears throat> For by the word of your Son's gospel, you have brought together one church from every people, tongue, and nation. And having filled her with life by the power of your Spirit, you never cease through her to gather the whole human race into one. Manifesting the covenant of your love, she dispenses without ceasing the blessed hope of your kingdom, and shines bright as the sign of your faithfulness, which in Christ Jesus our Lord you promised to last for eternity. <clears throat> and so with all the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, while with all the church, as one voice, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, Lord, God, heaven and earth are filled with your glory, O Son and eyes, blessed is you, You are indeed holy and be glorified, O oh God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, present in our midst when we are gathered with his love. And when, as once for the disciples, so now for us he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> on the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the last supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink of it. 
For this is the child's in the blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in number of me. The mystery of faith. Save us. Save your world. The life of God. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led to his passion and death on the cross for the glory of the resurrection, and whom you seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant it by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church by the light of the gospel. Strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people, together with Pope Francis, Bishop Gerald, and the whole order of bishops, that in a world torn by strife, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen to sleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is ended, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Joseph your spouse, and the apostles and martyrs, with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to our Father in the words our Savior. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy of you to enter under my roof, but only to the Lord, where my soul shall be
Canadian verse? The Lord is good to those who hope in him, to the soul that seeks him. Let us pray. Grant to us, a merciful God, that nourished by the body and blood of your Son, we may draw confidently from the wellspring of mercy and show ourselves ever more compassionate towards our brothers and sisters. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. As is ended, go with peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thanks for joining us this morning, especially for those who are home. Thanks for being with us. Have a good day. Thank you, Father.